So moving on to the next question. That is the upper part of face is paired in UMN lesions. So it is a very interesting question that is for that we should know about the supply of the facial muscles. So uh, for that um, the muscles of the face they are supplied by the facial nerve. So that is the seventh cranial nerve. And the seventh cranial nerve has its nuclei situated at the level of pons. Suppose this is pons, here it is pons and this is the facial nerve nucleus. Then uh, there is upper face part division, upper face division of this nucleus and a lower face division. of this nucleus then what happens is again for the uh, each cranial nerves you have a uh, upper motor neuron and a lower motor neuron so the lower motor neuron arises from this facial nucleus situated in the pons and it is the facial nerve so from here the facial nerve comes and then it supplies the lower face part and the upper face part and above the upper motor neuron supply that is the cortico bulba tract fibers so the cortico bulba tract fibers mainly carries the motor fibers to the cranial nerves so uh, so they arise from the cortex and from here, from the same side of the cerebral hemisphere, we have upper motor neuron fibers to the upper face division. And from the opposite side also, we have upper motor neuron fibers to the upper face division. And for the lower face division, we do not have upper motor neuron fibers from the same cerebral hemisphere. We have only from the opposite cerebral hemisphere so what happens when there is a lower motor neuron lesion of facial nerve in lower motor neuron lesions the lower motor neurons they will be getting affected so this is the lower motor neurons when they get affected what happens is the whole whole part of this uh, uh, face will be affected that is the same side on the same side the wall of this will be affected but when it comes to an upper motor neuron lesion if the lesion is on the opposite side here both these fibers are lost then what happens is the the upper motor neuron for this lower division is gone so the lower side of the opposite part will be affected but when we look at the upper face division even though the upper motor neuron from the opposite cerebral hemisphere is gone but still there is supply from the same side of the cerebral hemisphere so therefore the upper part of the face will be spared that it will be not uh, showing any type of uh, problems so in a uh, facial nerve palsy what is the problem is if it is LMN the same side whole of it, it is affected and if it is UMN the opposite side lower half will be affected because the upper part is spared because it receives uh, supply from bilateral supply from both the hemispheres.